Ladies and gents, welcome to the video. I am, of course, Get Good Guy, the same guy I have been for the past three years of making videos, or something like that. And the topic of Battlefield 5 and its early demise has been taught to death. I know this, you know this, everybody knows this, but there's this odd kind of disconnect that I've noticed. On a lot of my videos and other videos and various other places, there are a great many comments from people claiming they stopped playing the game because it was boring. Like, genuinely, loads of them spread out across the internet. And yet the idea that the game is boring has barely been covered in video content, breakdowns, analysis, post-mortems and all that business. It generally focuses on technical problems with the game, etc. And so I thought, well, let's hit that point today, a, a kind of a different focus. I'm going to go through 10 reasons, which you can see on screen now, why people have claimed the game is boring in different ways, how that contributed to its downfall, and actually if I agree with them or not. Because some of them I really don't. This isn't a video designed again to bash on the game. This is me analysing and looking at both sides. There are some good aspects to BF5, honestly, I, I do mean that, and I don't buy into this thing about it being terrible in every way, even if I do think it's been a pretty egregious fail overall. Please also feel free to leave your opinion on the 10 reasons as well in the comments below, as this is all just my opinion and your feedback is just as important, and let's dive straight into this. Number 1, the gunfights. Now this is probably the least commonly seen complaint in terms of the game being boring, because a lot of people really enjoyed the gunfights or the gunplay in this game. It's one of the few widely praised aspects of BF5, and despite my own personal feelings on certain aspects of it, you do have to give props to DICE for that, for delivering something that people generally liked. However, there are still a significant amount of people saying that the gunfights were boring. Whether it be because they just felt kind of simplistic, or not very Battlefield to some people, or just not what people wanted or expected. Personal preference is a huge aspect of whether a game is enjoyed by someone or not, that much should be very obvious. I personally did not find the gunfights boring. I actually enjoyed that part of this game. Now I am separating gunfights from gun mechanics, that will come afterwards, but the gunfights, as in myself against someone else, or you against someone else, individual versus individual, I don't have a problem with. I really, really enjoyed that. It generally felt like you bested your opponent to beat them, apart from the networking and lag issues, which is a significant downside to the game. But for me, yeah, they seem like a bit of a strange one when I read it. Each to their own and all that, but I played for this footage, for this video, and for another one for four straight hours, and none of my complaints were really about the gunfights, and they barely ever are. So for me, thumbs up to DICE on the gunfights, no problem at all. Next up, gun mechanics. Now this was a different story for me. It very much comes down to a point of personal preference, hence why some people love the gunplay in BF3, or BF4, or BF1, or Hardline. It's evolved and changed and altered through the years, and some people love the gunplay mechanics mechanics of some games and not other ones. Now I still enjoyed using the guns most of the time in BF5, but as some of you will know, I've now decided I much prefer BF1, which isn't the most popular opinion, but I like there to be a bit more depth to the gunplay. Now I'm not getting into that all again because some people will say there's lots of spread or random bullet deviation or whatever in BF1. I've done a whole video on that, so that's not what I'm covering today, but I do like there to be a bit more to the gunplay than we have in BF5. BF5 feels very simplistic in a lot of ways although it is somewhat reliable, somewhat, I say, because some people do point towards there being random recoil when you fire on some guns and whatever else. But yeah, whereas some people will say that gunplay mechanics in BF5 are frustrating, and others will say they're just straight up great, I don't find them frustrating or great, I just find them okay. They're alright, and there isn't enough there to keep me coming back for that alone. I don't feel like there's very much to master, you just get the gun, you shoot people, end of. And I say this as someone with a 3 plus KD on both BF1 and BF5, this doesn't come from a point of ignorance or lack of ability or anything like that. I just prefer there to be a bit more to it. So yes, for me, it's a little bit boring, but it wasn't a significant issue, and I'd really like to hear what you guys think of the gunplay mechanics, gunplay depth, whatever, in the comments below. Next point, the maps or map design. Uh, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the maps in BF5. This is pretty well documented by this point, but I've never really called them boring. I think there's quite a lot of points of interest. Some of the ideas behind them are pretty cool. Cool. there's quite a lot of detail in them, and they're reasonably varied, I just find some of them frustrating. Uh, they play into questionable aspects of gun design. Oh, I didn't mention the last part actually about um, MMGs when the game first released and how that all plays it. Uh, we can combine actually. This is a bit of a jumbled mess right now, but basically the map design and gunplay design created a very passive game for a long time, where movement wasn't really incentivized and being stationary somewhere was much more beneficial. This creates a slow meta and that could actually be boring 
boring. So yes, that aspect, yeah, boring, I would say, in some regards. Not so much now. Things have developed and changed. But whereas I like some maps, there are far too many other ones where I just feel like they're not very well crafted. Too many wide open areas, open sight lines, with lots of cover surrounding it. So if you wanted to actually move anywhere, it, it was a, a dicey premise. And somewhat dicey, lol. Uh, I just said lol as well. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the map design, not boring on its own, just kind of uninspired and not very well thought out. Although some maps I do really like. I enjoy Arras, I like Lofton Islands in the small game modes, stuff like that. Next up, modes. This one won't take me very long. Um, the lack of modes, yeah, that is a problem. It is boring. From my personal perspective, I can't play the game for the reason I bought it for. I'll explain. There are now no permanent modes in the game that are the smaller objective-based modes. So 16 aside, 32 player modes with objectives, there aren't any permanent ones in the game now. They're gone. They've been removed. They're temporary modes. They turn up now and again. I'm talking front lines, domination, that kind of thing. You just can't do that anymore. And the small selection of permanent modes modes is an issue, plus the events that come up aren't very interesting, so yes, modes and variation, I will say, boring. Uh, DICE, please don't make that mistake again in BF6. Next up, gameplay loop. I would never say the gameplay loop of this game is particularly boring, although I have covered how at times it wasn't the most exciting with the open areas, with the prone players, etc, but more so just frustrating, and I'll highlight why. Now sometimes this game is awesome, like I played for 4 straight hours for this video as I said, I played it with my girlfriend and my mate Dame, and with another friend Eddie in the party just talking, and it was a good time for me. But sometimes it's a lot more like spawn in, take damage, attrition makes it very difficult to kind of recover. You've got one health pack, unless you're a medic, and then you're a bit stuck after that. Maybe you get taken out very quickly because of the map design. You then got to go through the respawn thing, come back in again, and sometimes it's very much rinse repeat. There's just not much you can do, especially if you're a solo player, which is definitely a problem and can hint to a frustrating time, but not so much a boring one. Next point, progression and incentives. Yes, this is boring in my opinion completely. The progression system is lackluster. If you look at getting the specializations for the guns, it's very quick. It's almost, you know, you'll blink and you'll miss it. A couple games, maybe three and you're done with most guns. If you get a decent amount of kills at least. The Tides of War were pretty poor. Most of the stuff in the actual pass, let's call it, or whatever, the longer form thing, not the weekly thing, the overall one for the season or chapter, just wasn't of interest to a lot of people until we started putting Put some guns in it, but then the guns going into that meant there weren't weekly guns for the, you know, whatever. It, it just, yeah, not, not great overall. And unlocking the skins by that progression system, don't get me started on that too much, but basically that wasn't so much boring as just kind of ridiculous some of it. So yeah, progression and incentives poor in Battlefield 5, frustrating and boring. Not a good look. Next up, content additions, or I guess lack of. Um, I don't know if boring is the right term for this, just kind of disappointing. The lack of content, the drip-fed content, the delayed content. Yes, it was obviously an issue for Battlefield 5. Boring's just not really the right term for it though, and some of it was good. A lot of the Pacific stuff was very good, and they should have built on that. So I'm not going to bash on that too hard. I give props where it's due. That should have seen the game go from strength to strength, but then came the TTK stuff, etc. But you could say the, the lack of, or, or more so the space between getting decent content was too long, and that could be boring, I guess. Next up, wait times. Uh, this isn't actually for content, this just between games. Some people have said it takes way too long to get into games and out of games to get your friends into games. I think a lot of that comes from people trying to use the quick search menu or it putting them into lobbies that don't have enough people in it. That is kind of boring, but my advice is just use the server browser anytime it's there. That clears up a lot of the issues. So for me, no, this wasn't a boring aspect a lot of the time. It's just what I've come to expect from the game and it's not too different from a lot of other games out there. Unless you were queuing for Firestorm or something. <laughs> but that's a different issue. Next up, lack of character within the game. Uh, yeah, it just feels a bit meh, you know what I mean? Just a bit meh, lackluster. What feeling does Battlefield 5 give you? It's just, uh, it's kind of just nondescript. I don't have this kind of visceral thing in my mind, or maybe visceral isn't a term, but this just thing that pulls me back in, it's not really there. So I wouldn't say boring, just kind of lacking. There's a lack of character. I know that seems very vague, but some of you will be able to relate to what I'm saying. I think a lot of that stems from going in the wrong direction to begin with, with the reveal trailer and everything and all the customization aspects they wanted back then, the untold stories and whatever, and they've had to kind of pivot. And so there's never been a clear direction and this character, as I'm putting it, was never built up. 
Yeah, that, that, that's a decent explanation. It's about the best I can do for that. And so our final one is a lack of atmosphere. Yes, 100%. It lacks that World War II atmosphere, that World War II aesthetic, that genuine feel to it. It just feels kind of empty. Boring can kind of be tied into that. But overall, I'm going with empty or, or soulless, maybe is what I should say. A bit of a soulless experience where people probably, a lot of people that see the game if they didn't play it, wouldn't really say it's World War II. They wouldn't know straight away by looking at it that that's what it is. And so if I can tie all of those 10 points together, there's an element of the game being boring, and it was part of the game's downfall, but I don't think it was the major aspect. I think if the game was just good, it wouldn't have been a problem. Now I know that some people will say, well if it was good then it wouldn't be boring, I, yes, but my point is it wasn't the main problem. And so I do disagree with a lot of the points raised, but some of them hold genuine value, and more should have been made of the experience to flesh it out and create more more incentives to play, more of a hook to coming back again and again, modes and events are a massive part of that, but no, I wouldn't label the game as being boring as to why it failed, it's just the multitude of other issues that are being well documented, but undeniably an element of boredom was a contributing factor and so I can completely understand why some people leave comments that I've seen ever all over the internet saying they quit because they got bored and you can't really argue with someone's opinion on that. So DICE, once again, another video that ends with a bit of advice, please look at this stuff. I know you're working on the game right now, you've got a big team on it, it's a real focus, turn the ship around, nail these aspects, make it fun, make it rewarding, provide incentives, and create an awesome Battlefield 6. And that's what i got to say today, please leave your opinion on the 10 points I've listed in the comments below, I hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave a like, please do consider subscribing and maybe turning on notifications if you're new and want to stay up to date, and all the links to my social media including Patreon can be found in the description I'm a pin comment. Here is the board of awesome for the epic people who already support the channel on Patreon. They're all absolute heroes and I love them all deeply and of course, often. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description. I'm a pin comment and with all that said, I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters. Lie here. Hi. What up, bro? What up, man? Can I hit you as well? Yes, thank you, bro. Oh, you see, I'm back to being polite and I'm getting killed. Maybe that was the key. Oh, God.